We're going to Frog Foot Holler, y'all. I'm Michael. My nephew Colton's behind the camera today. And today we're doing a Shed Wars 21 gardening video, but without the garden. See, no garden behind me. And, well, this is a gardening video, but it is not about the garden itself. It's about what you use in the garden. And it's about the tools that you use. And a lot of people that have the raised beds, they use the same tools that in-ground gardeners use. But there's one particular tool in particular that raised bed gardeners typically don't have to use. And that's power equipment. See guys, if you're an in-ground gardener, y'all probably know what this is. And if you're a raised bed gardener, I bet you do too. See guys, this is a tiller. This is a Husqvarna tiller with a Honda engine. This thing was not cheap when I bought it 11 years ago. It cost me right around $650 at that time. And well, to replace it now would probably run around eight, $900, maybe a little bit more. 11 years ago, that's a long time ago. But guys, why am I showing you my tiller? Well, this is about taking care of your equipment. And that is my number one top all tips of tricks and tips and tricks and everything else I've said this year. Because you can't have a garden without your tools. And, well, your tools, you need to take care of them. So you guys, proper maintenance, proper servicing, even if it's a hand tool, you need to be able to clean it off and uh, put it up and keep the handles nice and everything, or if they're pruner shears, keeping them sharp. You got to take care of your equipment. So why am I standing here with my tiller? Why don't I have hoss out here? Or why don't I have other pieces of equipment out here? Well, guys, my tiller's dead. <laughs> All right, guys. So 11 years ago, I bought this tiller. And, well, I took good care of it. And I'm talking about did the old changes, did the air filter changes, fart plug changes, and it's a Honda engine. This runs forever. So I thought. So, you guys, this year I took for granted that this thing was running optimally because I went out there and crunk it up, and it crunk up on the first pull this year, and I never checked the oil stupid so all year long i have been running this thing never check the oil yeah see yesterday i was tilling up one of my front gardens getting ready to plant some cover crop in it and it was tilling and tilling and tilling wasn't showing any signs of anything got to the last strip and it finished that last strip and it said uh -uh, no more and it gave up the ghost yesterday Guys, I was trying to figure out what happened, and I went and pulled on the crank rope and broke the daggum handle. This thing just broke right on off. And, well, when it did that, I got mad, and then I tried to crank it up again without the handle being really there, and ended up cutting my finger open. So, tip, trick, either one, wear gloves saves your hands but when i went to pull on it and it did not pull at all the rope did not come out at all and i said well this ain't good so i checked the oil not a daggum drop in there guys i'm talking about it drier than the desert in that old thing so i don't know how long it's been running without oil i don't even know where the oil went but it didn't have none in there so, as y'all mechanics might know, that causes a heat up in the cylinder and it welded the cylinder to, its, uh, to the motor. Yeah, that's not good. So the engine is dead. And that's what I'm talking about, taking care of your equipment. Don't pull a Michael. Yeah, see guys, if I had just checked the oil, I could have stopped all this. So this is actually an eight or nine hundred dollar mistake that I just made because this tiller still had a lot of life in it. And well, now it don't. It deader than a doornail. 
That's stupid. Just plain out stupid. That's what that's what actually caused this was pure stupidity. And I figured what better way to well have other people learn than learning from my mistakes. And boy was this a big mistake. See guys, I have several different power equipment tools I use in the garden. And I got a whole bunch of hand tools. Now I take care of almost all of them, evidently, but not this one. I don't know what it was this year. I just didn't check it. I don't, stupidity just ran strong in me this year. May the stupid force be with you. Yeah, guys, check your equipment, maintain your equipment, maintain your tools, clean them off, do what you need to, take the time and get it done. Because if you don't, You'll be like me and kicking yourself in the rear. And, well, I'm not actually kicking myself in the rear. I'm having other family members. I'm like going, kick me. Yeah, because I can't, can't quite get up there to kick myself in the rear. But, guys, all jokes aside, seriously, take care of your equipment. You take care of your equipment, your equipment's going to take care of you. And, well, I just proved that one big time this year. This tiller has gone from tilling, when I first bought it, a small little bit of land like this, to graduating, to graduating, to graduating. And then it went to college this year and went poof, this big. I mean, technically I could have had a tractor for the amount of land it tilled up this year. And it has done a excellent job this, this entire time. Never complained once. I really wish it did complain. Maybe I would have learned a little bit earlier without having to replace the whole machine. So I don't know if we're gonna be replacing the motor or the machine. Most likely we're gonna be replacing the machine <laughs> because I don't know what else to say other than check your equipment. That is my number one tip that beats all other tips this year. Check and maintain your equipment. It will save you a lot of heartache and a lot of wallet ache, because this ain't a this ain't a cheap problem. This this is an expensive one, and I have to have a tiller to maintain my garden. And I ain't going out there by hand and scooping up the dirt and tilling the dirt by hand. It's just not going to happen. Now, if I had raised beds, that'd be a different story. But I'm an in-ground gardener, and I need this thing, so. I appreciate its service, and I hate for it to go away in this kind of problem and in this way, but eventually, hopefully sooner than later, I'll get up the money and have another one. I just don't think it's ever going to be as good as this one was to me. I'm almost going to cry. Okay, not going to cry. But guys, take care of your equipment. That's been Michael, Shed Wars 21 Gardening video, Team Aquarius, telling you, get out there, check your equipment. Y'all have a froggy day.